Hey boys, what's going on? It's your boy Clazo here today, guys, and today I'm bringing you Day 11 Spoilers of Unearthed Prophecy. Now, the first card I'm going to bring you is actually a card that got released last night. It got re uh, released really late last night, so I wasn't able to add it to yesterday's video. Um, so yeah, we are going to add it to today's video. So this card is a 4-mana Vaynar spell. It's Blinding Snowstorm. Uh, deal 1 damage to all enemies, though en those enemies can only move 1 space next turn. Now, first off, let's just talk about its mana cost. Uh, four mana for this is very slow. I mean, you could play something like um, Blistering Scorn, get the same effect and a body on board, and deal one damage to everything uh, still. But you don't slow them, which is the, the upside on this card, is that you slow them, you know, if you're playing against, like, an aggro deck, like a very aggro vat deck, or really anything that's pushed at you, you can play this and, and slow them down move backwards and you know stall the game a little bit more so if you're playing a very late game like a uh, vanar deck or a very controlling vanar deck we might see maybe one or two copies of this probably never three copies one or two copies maybe um probably going to be really good in gauntlet you might see this in gauntlet to slow down the game definitely if you're playing like like I said, you're playing the, those very fast-based de uh, decks in Gauntlet. This will help you slow down if you're playing Vaynar. Um, other than that, man, it's all right. I don't think it's it's game-breaking, and it may or may not see play just because of its mana cost being really high. Uh, as I saw someone posted on forums, they said basically it's overpriced and understated. I think maybe it should deal two damage to all enemies, and then those enemies can only move one space next turn. I think that'd be a little bit better. Uh, but like I said, we might see it in Control Vaynar. We need to see the rest of the set first, and then we'll figure it out. But right now, um, yeah, maybe one or two copies. We'll see. Let's move on to our next card, though. I'm also not a, a very big Vaynar player. I, I don't ever play Vaynar, so I could be completely wrong. So the next card we're going to talk about is actually two cards. So this card is... I'm probably going to butcher the name, uh... Raka Dope Terra. I don't know. So we're just going to call him Terra. That's what we're going to call him, right? Or Dung Beetle. We're just going to call him Dung Beetle <laughs> because that's what he is. He's a 2 3 neutral minion with opening gambit. Put a boulder hurl into your action bar. So, boulder hurl is a zero mana spell with deal one damage to an enemy. Basically, just a, uh, a Blood Tear Alchemist effect. So I think this card's pretty cool, man. I don't think it, it's it's uh, overpriced or anything. I think it's right where it needs to be. Uh, if this was two mana, it would be crazy. It would be like Blood Tear Alchemist with a bigger body, and you can still ping something off with this spell in your hand. And that spell, you don't have to play it that turn, right? You can keep that spell for things like Arcanist, or you can keep that thing uh, that spell for things like uh, Firestorm Mantra, which recently just got released. So this card. This card can be actually pretty crazy. Um, I think it's pretty good early game. I think if you're playing aggro, this card's actually not a really bad pick. I mean, dealing one damage to an enemy is really nice. You can deal that one damage to an enemy general. You can, you know, ping off artifacts with this. You can keep going face with this card. It's not a bad card, and a 2-3 stat line isn't awful. Um, another thing, uh, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this. It would be very good in Gauntlet, I think, just as extra removal. It's nice with a body. And then, um, that's really it with this card, I think. I think it's going to be good. I definitely think it's going to see play. If you pick this up in Gauntlet, you're going to be really happy with this, I believe. Uh, two, three. That zero mana spell is what's important with this card, because that, that, that card just... That card, that makes this card... I mean, obviously, that's the opening gambit, because a two, three stat line on a three mana creature isn't the greatest. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the greatest. But that spell is what's important, because you can, you can pair that with... So many other combos in the game that that makes you want to play spells like Shakri avatars, things like that. Uh, we, we're probably going to see it the most in Song Guy and Gauntlet. Let's move on to our fourth card. Fourth card. Speaking of Song Guy, is a Song Guy card. This card is called Flicker. I really don't have much to talk about this card. It's a three mana spell with teleport your general to a space behind an enemy, so you can teleport it behind any enemy, which is. Uh, the general or the um, the general or a minion. Basically, this works with obscuring blow. This works for um, mask of shadows, bangle. Basically, you're gonna see this in artifact Riva. You're probably gonna see maybe one or two, but this could end the game with mask of shadows. Basically, uh, that's really all I can talk about with this card. Is just artifact Riva, mask of shadows, obscuring blow, and yeah, flicker. 
Maybe one, two copies at the most. We'll see. Really not a lot with that card. Now our last card's our most interesting card of the day. Now this card I'm very excited to talk about. This card is uh, Dagona. I don't, I don't know. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's an 8-mana minion. It's neutral with a 8-8 eight, eight body. With opening gambit, devour any minion anywhere. Dying Wish, spit out that devoured minion on this base. So, let me flip my page here. Let's talk about this card because we have some new things that we've never seen before. So, devour any minion anywhere. So, that means it basically has um, airdrop, but... To play the fish, you have to feed the fish, as someone said in Discord. I think it was Thanatos. Uh, so basically, to play this card, you have to have a target. Uh, Devourer is basically a transform effect. He's going to drop down, eat that minion. It does not proc Dying Wish since it does not die. So it's going to eat that minion up, and it's going to go what on, uh, on the space that minion was on. Basically, this card is going to stall the board. You can also push face with this card if you want, which you're probably going to. It's an 88 minion. Why not? And if your opponent does not have Dispel for this card or, um, you know, Transform effect for this card, basically, if they transform this card, they're going to lose this card's Dying Wish, and then I guess that minion won't get spit out since it'll get transformed. So, ultimately, you're going to be transforming twice. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but this card's not that bad, man. Um, and basically, it's Dying Wish to spit out the Devoured Minion on this space. So, when you spit out the minion, it resets all health and, uh, all health. It resets all buffs that were on it. Uh, I don't think it procs opening Gambit again. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. But I'm pretty sure it does not, does not proc the opening Gambit on, uh, any minions again. But, I think it's a nice card, man. I think it might see play. Um, probably only like one or two copies, and I'm not sure what deck yet. I'm not sure what deck yet, man. I want to see the rest of the reveal before we figure out where it's going to go. Basically, though, I mean, it, it's a removal tool on a big body, and it's pretty nice. The, the downside is, yeah, when it does die, it's going to spit the, out that minion again. But even if your opponent is playing like, uh, if you're playing Lilith, and she's running away, and she like BBSs and has a Wraithling near her, you could throw this down, eat up that Wraithling just to spawn an 8-8 eight, eight next to her. Which is huge. And then, so what? If he dies, they get a 1-1 one -one Wraithling back. So this could be used to remove, like, bad threats just to get a big minion next to their opponent. Or it can be used to, you know, remove good late game threats. Like, you know, if your opponent's gonna, about to die and they're playing Liner and they have Grandmaster Zero on board. But you can't kill off their general because then Grandmaster Zero will take over. You eat Grandmaster Zero and then you finish the game. So, like, this card could see many uses everywhere. I think it's going to be a very good card and it's definitely going to see play. And may I add, the art for this card is beautiful. I think it's a, a, a an awesome fish. To play the fish, you got or <laughs> To play the fish, you got to feed the fish. And that's my favorite quote that Thanatos said about this card. I think it's really cool. But th really, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of all these cards that are released to you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. But other than that, I'm your boy Clazo. I hope you guys keep on dueling. I'll see you guys next time.